Hey there, Gel Press family. Carrie Silly here, and today you can tell I'm not in my normal habitat. Um, today I am actually on vacation in Destin. Um, I will put a beautiful beach picture up here for you in just a second so you can live vicariously through um, the fun that I'm having here at the beautiful beach. You can hear the rustling of the waves in the background. Beautiful. Um, so today I wanted to do a tutorial that dealt with um, using your Faith Impressions plate um, when you are traveling. Because they're small, they're compact, you can take one at a time if you need to. Um, and so I wanted to show you just a quick and easy tutorial that you can do. I am actually on the balcony overlooking the beach and um, so I thought it'd be kind of fun and kind of cool to show you something that you could do yourself um, super easy with your gel press plates your faith impression plates anything like that so that you can take your creativity on the road so um, stay tuned and we will get started here in just a second have an awesome day and I will put a picture on up the beach for you All right, creative friends, so I am here on the balcony overlooking the beautiful ocean working on a project here. And like I said in the intro, this is gonna be just an easy, fun project that you can do um, while you are traveling because it doesn't take a whole lot of stuff. So I've got my Faith Impressions uh, border plate. Um, I've got my Jane Davenport uh, pastels. Um, I just got these. They're from her new Making Faces line. Um, you could also do the same technique with uh, pan pastels or something of that nature. Um, and then this is something I actually picked up at Walmart. So when I purchased these, I did not realize that it didn't come with any kind of applicator. So I just picked up these for like two bucks at Walmart. Um, and then all else you're gonna need is um, just a funky stencil um, and some any kind of acrylic paint. I'm gonna use white because my colors are so bright. I wanna make sure I keep them. And of course your Bible or whatever else you're planning on um, doing this in. Um, so I'm just gonna play. Um, I'll probably fast forward through this part um, and uh, here in a minute. So simple, simple technique. Just take your stencil, we're gonna apply it down. And I probably should have opened these before we got started, that's my bad. So I'm just gonna open these. And then I'm just gonna use these, looks like they're all sticky together, to apply my colors. So you can see really, really saturated color, really pretty. Just use it. Yay. And I want to get a really pretty kind of blend. So I'm going to put this dark pink color kind of towards the middle of this. And then take my lighter pink and add it in here to the outside. Since I'm using a white background, I'm hoping these will still pop pretty good. If not, it's a learning experience to stick with the brighter colors if I'm going to be playing. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to switch this stencil around and use different parts of it and keep making just cool colors. And actually I'm going to add a little bit of just a little bit of this kind of blue color to the tips here. All right, so I'm gonna put this in fast forward while I continue to add color and then we'll come back and we'll chat about the next step. See you in a few. All right, as you can see, I have got my colors laid down. So right now those pan pastels are super happy just laying there. They don't really care about coming off my plate. So it wouldn't work for me just to take this and plop it right there. It just wouldn't get a really, really good image. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of just plain white 
acrylic. Again, I'm using white because I am using um, those pastels and I wanna make sure that those colors stay vibrant. You could use a different lighter color and um, just depending on what your base colors are. Um, try it, play with it, try all sorts of different things. So we wanna keep our coat kind of light. So I'm just gonna add a little bit on there. And, uh oh, I don't think I had anything to rinse my brayer off on. That's okay, we'll figure it out. Can you hear the ocean in the background? I'm like, it's, it's like, I think I'm just gonna start having an ocean, one of those little ocean machines in my studio at, at the house, because it's very relaxing. All right, so then I'm just gonna take, again, good thing to have that piece of acrylic on there. And we're just gonna take it. You can see how pretty it's gonna look behind it. Just line it up. And we wanna make sure we get a really good press on it. So just keep it real, it's the first time I've done this technique. I've seen other people do it, so I'm probably gonna give it a little bit more pressure, a little bit more lovey-dove than is actually really necessary. But since this is a video, I wanna make sure it turns out right. <laughs> and I don't wanna to have to redo this. So we're just gonna continue, just give it some nice little love, let it marinate there for just a second. And then, oh yes, make sure that's getting real good right there, but I think we're going to like it. <sighs> yes, look how pretty that is, guys. So pretty, so pretty. And look, my gradation turned out really, really great. So awesome, and you can see... I've got a little bit left on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this around just for funsies to see what happens. Um, and I'm gonna pull a ghost print using this other side. Again, I'm just gonna use my white again just because it's right there and readily available. Let's see what kind of ghost print we'll get from the leftovers. Ocean, relaxation, creating all what we all need right we need to create to release the ocean is supposed to do magical things for your soul which i can see this is day what day did we get here we got here late saturday night so we would be here through early friday morning so i got two more days tomorrow we're going to see dolphins and a snorkel yay So you can see a little bit, I don't know if you can see in, in yours, because I still had some pigment on my stencil as I moved it around. I've got some really, actually kind of funky little background stuff going on. So if you don't like that, make sure you clean your stencil in between your colors. But if you do, leave it. Let's see if we get any ghost print off of this. Oh, we are, yay. Ooh, that ghost pant is very pretty. Can you see that? So this was the original print. And this was our ghost print. Super nice, huh? And you can kind of see there is still a little bit left on there. So clean that off before you get to your next one because you don't want those pan pastels or those pastels, whatever you're using, to inhibit your acrylics from sticking anyway. So um, just a good, nice little wipey with your... Um, with your baby wipe or whatever you choose to use. So I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna add some words, maybe some highlighting, highlight a scripture and that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful waves in the background and I hope you take the time to rest and relax and vacate and create and all that kind of stuff. So until next time, have an awesome and creative day guys.